All right, welcome, welcome after a long time once again to my channel, Tech Explorers, where I show you all things of work, freelancing, IT, and what have you. It's been a while since I last made a video here, and so one of my subscribers reached out to request that I make a video on how to add manual time to their um, Upwork tracker. Um, a few things that we need to know about Upwork Tracker is the fact that Upwork Tracker doesn't have a mobile version. Uh, I believe a lot of us already know that. And so it becomes difficult when you take on jobs that require you to use your mobile phones, an hourly job I mean. And so in that instance, you would find it difficult to actually track your time because there is no way for the Upwork Tracker to take screenshots just like you can see right here on my screen uh, usually when you are working with your upper tracker on your desktop or on your pc or your macbook once it's turned on right here by toggling this on all right just like i just did um i'll toggle it off anyway because i'm not working right now so once that is toggled on the upper tracker automatically begins to track your time and by so doing it occasionally okay um, at irregular intervals take snapshots of the work you are doing so you want to make sure that even if you're using multiple screens the snapshot that is taken by the tracker reflects your client's job all right never forget that um, there is already a whole video on what you need to know about Upwork time tracker, so I won't be going all through that um, nitty gritty. If you want to check out the video, I will drop a link just above the um, video right now. So, back to what we are doing. When you have such a situation where you need to work with your phone and it's an hourly job and you don't know how to track your time, the only solution to that is to ask your client to allow you add your time manually. But there's a caveat there because the Upwork Tracker would not be able to take snapshots of your work while you are using your phone. It becomes difficult for the client to actually know when you're working and when you're not working. And so it's actually a, a win-lose case for the client because a freelancer could just decide to add multiple hours of manual time where they never worked, all right? So um, also it can be a win-lose case for you as a freelancer where you eventually work say four hours and you try to log that on and then your client receives the message in their email saying that you clocked in four hours of manual time which cannot actually be tracked and so the client can go ahead and raise a dispute on Upwork asking you to make a refund of maybe three hours that you only worked one hour. That has actually happened to me and it wasn't a, a, a sweet experience. So you wanna be very critical about your relationship with your client and the agreement you reach with them, okay? So that whenever you add manual time, they are aware that you have actually done those work that the time stipulates. All right, so let's say you worked for four hours of your manual time uh, you couldn't add that on Upwork automatically, all right? So you need to come over to your Upwork tracker. Of course, this will be done on your PC, all right, or your MacBook. You come over here where you have add manual time. Of course, you don't need to toggle this on. And if you want to, perhaps you're working at the moment, you're trying to add your time, you can also toggle it on. It doesn't only apply when you're using your phone. You may be working on your PC and you forgot to toggle this on. That's also an instance where you would want to add a manual time. So you click on your manual time and then you have to fill out all these necessary details. Beginning with the date when you did the job for which you want to add a manual time. So in this case, it is today, the 17th day of July, which is Wednesday, 2024. You want to add the time zone. Do you want to use your time zone? Was it your time zone that you and your client agreed on that you could work? or their time zone. So if it is your time zone, then you want to make sure this is set to mine. If it is not your time zone, you want to choose your client's time zone, all right? 
So in this case, I'll leave it on my time zone. And then you want to decide what time can you remember as far as you worked? What time was it that you started working for which you want to enter your um, manual logins, all right? So click on start time and you have a bunch of time stamps right here. So let's say I started working um, around um, 1 p.m. today, all right? 1 p.m. today, so I'll click on 1 p.m. Now, the tracker has a way of synchronizing your work between when you worked on your PC and when you worked on your phone. In other words, if you worked on your PC on that particular day, the tracker will automatically block out those hours that you have already worked on your PC. So if you're working, say, on your PC at 4.40 p.m., and at the same time, you're doing an extra work for the client on your phone. You cannot track 4.40 p.m. twice on Upwork Tracker. It's not possible because already while you're working on your PC, your Upwork Tracker would automatically take care of that time slot for you. All right. So this only applies where the time slot is free. So for time slots like this that has been indicated with a red highlight, it simply means that at this duration of time, your Upwork Tracker was turned on, all right? So another way you could actually want to go about this is if you want to work on your phone and perhaps you're close to your PC, you could just turn on your Upwork Tracker and toggle it on, all right? So you keep working on your phone while you work on your, I mean, while you're working, I mean, you could toggle it on on your PC while you're actually working on your phone, I meant to say. So that said, you want to trace the time when you began working. Of course, if it is your own time, just look around for what time you started, say 1 p.m. in this case, and then you want to select the time you ended the work. How many hours Upwork will automatically calculate that for you? You just need to tell Upwork Tracker what time you started the work and what time you ended the work. Okay, and another thing you need to note is that the Upwork Tracker will not let you go beyond the current time that you are in at the moment, all right? So if say uh, the time at the time of this video was say 2.50 p.m., all right? Upwork Tracker will not let you go beyond that time. So you cannot add a manual time that is beyond the time that you have not worked, all right? I hope that is clear anyway. So in this case, I could say I work from 1 p.m. to say 2 p.m. and Upwork Tracker will automatically tell me that I'm trying to log one hour of time okay mind you this is disputable by your client all right that is why i said from the beginning of the video you want to make sure that you and your client reach an agreement as far as manual time is concerned all right so the next thing you want to fill out here is your memo you need to tell your client what you were doing at this time that you're trying to log in remember there is no screenshots to back up your claim. So you want to explain in 140 characters what you were doing at this time that you're trying to log, all right? So it could be Gmail, Claire, or Gmail, uh, inbox messaging or whatever it is, all right? Whatever it is you're doing, you want to let your client know so that when you click on save, all right, I won't be doing that right now, all right? So you click on save. What happens is this one hour will be logged in here and it would automatically be added both here. So this will change to two hours, 30 minutes, two, I mean, 2.30 hours, sorry to say. That is two hours, 30 minutes anyway. And then here it would update to eight hours, 10 minutes. All right, so that is exactly what happens in this case. Okay, so like I said, there will be no screenshot. It's just a matter of adding your manual time and then that's it. Now, there is something also that uh, the subscriber for who I am making this video asked me, how do you take care of screenshots that the Opoc Tracker takes when you already have been caught by the tracker doing another thing different from the client's work? That is where you need to go to the view, I mean, the work library, okay? You want to go to the work diary and delete the snapshot. How to go about that is also in the video I referenced earlier. All right, so that will be that for this video. If you want me to make any other thing around Upwork or freelancing, whatever topic it is, let me know and I'll be glad to shoot that video for you. Thank you and see you in another video.